Mil Margot Kahirli, and um, I welcome the opportunity to speak on this, however short the time is. And I stand, as I have already repeated, in full solidarity with the people of the Ukraine. I deplore what's happened. Words don't convey it. And we should do everything possible on a humanitarian level, as we are doing. And I welcome the briefing that's going to be given later this week on the actual practicalities of the numbers of refugees coming to our country. But I absolutely agree with what Deputy Richard Byde Barrett has said, that if the message from this is that we must increase our military spending, then we're absolutely doomed. We make our contributions today in a world where, as already been said, 44 million globally are on the brink of famine. 44 million globally. And additionally, 220 or 32 million are just one step away because of wars and because of the direct effects of climate change and because of the direct effects of inequality of power and the powers that be playing war games generally. That is no way taken and absolutely condemning what Putin has done. And so this meeting this week where we're not sure if the teacher can attend and no reflection on him, is a meeting where we should be reasserting our voice, that positive, strong, proactive, neutral voice that's not adding to the warmongers in the world because you cannot make peace with war. It is not possible. And so we need to use our voice as as somebody as a, who have got a seat on a UN Council to call for a diplomatic solution. Whether we like it or not, we're going to have to sit with Putin, whether we like it or not, our people on his behalf. Because bad and all as things are now, they're going to get worse with a further war. And it's in all our interests to find a solution. And in my opinion, the ingredients are there. Whether we can trust him or not is a matter in terms of diplomacy. But the ingredients are there, and the Ukraine have said that we will not join NATO and so on within a package of solutions. But in the meantime, what worries me is what an unelected member has said in relation to the strategic compass that we've passed without discussion. Europe must learn to speak the language of power. No, I think Europe has to learn to speak the language of peace. And when they talk about rule-based, then we must apply rules in an even-handed fashion. And already Saudi Arabia has mentioned in Yemen and so on, where we don't. Thank you, Kahir. Thank you.